You're watching our special show, Who's Winning 2024, powered by Statistically Speaking. Today, we will be taking a deep dive into the state of Bihar. The state of Bihar has very recently seen a political upheaval after Chief Minister Nitish Kumar quit the Mahagadbandan and joined the NDA. Meanwhile, the NDA has finalized its seat sharing in Bihar. However, the Mahagadbandan faces a seat sharing hurdle. Bihar will be going for voting in all seven phases for the 40 Lok Sabha seats in the state. Let's, in fact, take a quick look first at what the people of Bihar want, what the main issues are that uh, concern them and on the basis of which they will be casting their vote this time around in the Lok Sabha polls. Let's quickly go across and show you about the pulse of the voter in the state of Bihar. Well, let's uh, quickly uh, take you through the various uh, questions. We asked uh, uh, the, the people of uh, Bihar who were surveyed in Bihar a total sample size of this uh, survey was 10,390. The first question we asked them was, what is your biggest issue in the Lok Sabha elections 2024? And you can see overwhelming 46.73% people believe it's unemployment. 22.05% people say it's development. 14.02% saying inflation. 11.58% uh, people going with corruption. And 5.62% people saying none of the above. Meanwhile, uh, the next question we, of course, asked people was, on what basis will they be casting their vote in the Lok Sabha election? 60.44% people said it was on the basis of work done. 23.66% people said it's party over other issues. 13.71% people believe that it's candidate who they will vote for. 1.46% people saying religion and 0.73% saying none of these. Meanwhile, we also asked people about how Narendra Modi's performance has been as Prime Minister of India. And you can see there, overwhelming 35.99% people believe it's very good, 28.53% people believing it's good, 28.16% people saying average, and 9.32% people saying that they can't say. Meanwhile, also, uh, as far as the Modi factor is concerned, how will the Modi factor work in the Lok Sabha elections? Well, 38.49% people believe that it is going to be a very good factor in these elections for the BJP. 23.65% people say it's going to be a good factor. 20.63% people believe not at all that there is no Modi factor this time around in the elections. 15.44% people believe it will have an average effect on the outcome. And uh, a very minuscule percent people believe, of course, uh, that they can't say who do you think will form the government in 2024? NDA says 60.04% people. So that's quite a big chunk of people who believe that it's going to be the NDA that will form the government after the results come out. 24.22% people believing that it's going to be the India Alliance. And 9.13% people say it's a government with regional alliances. 6.61% people say they can't say. So these, of course, are the questions that we posed uh, to people and, of course, the results that were thrown up uh, showing you a bit of sense of what people of Bihar are feeling uh, ahead of the Lok Sabha polling. Joining us to decode this uh, big uh, uh, story and, of course, the survey results is a special panel. We have Kuntal Krishna joining us live, BJP spokesperson. Also with us is Mayank Sinha, political advisor, JDU. Priyanka Bharti, RGD spokesperson, joins us live. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, Congress spokesperson, also live with us. Desha Tanigam, political analyst, is live with us. Nikhil Jain, political analyst, also joins us live. Papu Yadav, Congress leader, will be also joining us very, very shortly. Let me quickly uh, bring you in here first, uh, Mr. Kuntal Krishna, on uh, your first uh, reaction uh, to this, this survey result. What you believe uh, of these, uh, you know, uh, results, of course, and questions giving us an indication of what Bihar people are thinking and feeling. Uday, your survey itself indicates about everything. Your survey gives us a clear cut picture that there would be a third term for Modi ji, and Bihar is going to give all the 40 seats in NDA kitty. Your survey itself says everything. NDA is winning all the 40 seats under the leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji, under the leadership of Sri Nitish Kumar ji in Bihar. NDA is winning all the 40 seats. Ab ki baar 400 paar aur 400 mein 40 dega Bihar. So, 
के सर्वे के फाइंडिंग्स देखकर मयंक सिन्हा का भी रिएक्शन ले लेते हैं उनकी भी प्रतिक्रिया ले लेते हैं मयंक कृष्णा व्हाट डू यू मेक ऑफ दिस सर्वे द रिजल्ट्स द इंडिकेशन दैट यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन आस्ट एंड द रिस्पॉन्स इज रिसीव वी आर गोइंग टू बी वन फोर्टी सीट्स इन द स्टेट ऑफ बिहार एंड देर इज another triple time again modi ji comes so there is a clear cut picture comes out your television ki the number of majority of peoples are favor in the modi ji and nitish ji our work for the, only for the development not for the parivarvad not for the vanswad only for the development our chief minister focus only for the phase want to phase 3 for only for the looking for the development and we are going to be won 40 seats and 400 par india and 40 seats from bihar okay uh, priyanka bharti of the rjd quickly bring you in here a lot of confidence in the nda camp as you are hearing your response to them and your reactions to the survey and its findings so far uh Uh, i don't know what to say about survey because in uh, bihar you can see the population of people is 13 crores and the survey has a data of 1396 people and what is the survey, what is the background of these people are these people the activists of bjp what is the class does they belong to what is the caste they belong to nothing is mentioned so nothing is clear about the survey and what's the background about it and when i heard when i heard bjp spokesperson and the other person they were constantly saying we are winning we are winning we are winning on what basis they couldn't even mention what they have done but we can say here what we have done we have given 5 lakh jobs sarkari naukri not pakoda tolo wala rozgar that is what we have given and you have seen 83% of people in india are unemployed that is the data of ilo in international labor organizations so the, so the people the 67% of the youngsters are not going for the going to vote for the person who has just given a jumla of 2 crore rozgar but have given nothing except tears and empty vessels in their hands so that is what india is going to vote for india is vo- going to vote for not for the person who goes to lakshadweep just for diving in- instead of talking to the women of manipur instead of looking at unemployment rate people are going to vote for issues ambedkar also said when hero worshiping is done it leads to devastation as well as to tana shahi so india is going to not go for hero worship they are going to go go and vote for the issues and the core issues are unemployment the 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 poor people the marginalized people they are going to choose only india and i just have a one single request below your survey you have written indi indi is not what media should say indi is what modi says what bjp says it's india you, you heard what i you heard what i had to say i said india yes so, yes so yes let's I not let's not get picky let's okay. let's not get picky you heard what i had to say i said india so why make that an issue now go ahead No, it's written below go your ahead. survey. Go ahead. Go ahead. You heard what I had to say. If I had yes. said that, you could have said that. You heard what I said. Go ahead. Now. You also mentioned average as you also mentioned. Kharab is average. Ji. Kharab is wretched. That is wretched. What people believe. It's not average. So yeah, that that was what I just wanted to say. Okay. Let me uh, uh, go across and uh, get in Dr. Pooja Tripathi's uh, view on this uh, survey and its findings. Dr. Pooja Tripathi, your uh, reaction, your response to. Uh, Uh, what the pulse of the bihar voter is is getting indicated somewhat through this survey also confidence in the nda camp you heard what the jdu and bjp representatives are saying uh uday this survey which takes a sample of some 1390 people in a state with 7.4 crore uh, voting over, population over over 10 over 10000 Over ten thousand. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Over ten thousand in a state which has seven point six four crore voting population and one point two million uh, youngsters have been added in the recent electoral list. Okay, that's fine. But what just strikes me in in this whole halla bua we'll go four hundred par, Charles will go to NDA. Ko. What strikes me is forty six point seven three percent people in this survey of ten thousand forty six point seven three people say that Beros Gari, that is unemployment, is the biggest poll issue. And the India unemployment report that's been released yesterday by the Institute of Human Development and ILO says that eighty two percent of uh, uh, youth is unemployed. This comes as this comes as a huge blow to a government that promised two crore jobs per year. and we have to look if you look at the context of bihar just this bihar 
shows a huge urban rural uh, disparity 46 lakh people migrate from bihar to adjoining areas in search of low paying jobs it's not just former sector and here uh, ms bharti just mentioned that in within the 17 months of uh, tejasvi <laughs> mahagadgad but bandhan that they ran they gave uh, 4 lakh some 5 lakh jobs to the people youth of bihar this survey also mentions that the share of agriculture and employment fell from 42% to 60% there is a huge agricultural distress this also comes as a backstab to a ruling dispensation which claimed doubling the farmers income which is having a back seat on msp which is lati charging farmers on msp also the biggest as a woman the biggest finding that i see in this report is the labor force participation rate of women is reduced to 32% comparing to 77% in males so what are the key policy areas what uh, youth will vote on it will pre- uh, vote on promoting job creation mahagathbandhan had already done that and uh, co- i i have not seen rjd's uh, poll promises but congress promises them uh, 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 filling up the government vacancies filling them apprenticeship the second should be the impl- ensuring employment quality when we promise youth an apprenticeship of 1 lakh a year we are promoting skill development we are addressing labor market inequalities look at the gig economy 68 lakh gig workers i'm not saying this is niti ayog's uh, start 68 lakh gig workers are currently operating in india and 58% are from bihar 58% remember what biharis are being resorting to low paying gig workers job which does not have social security which does not have occupational safety which does not have any which is not formalized as a uh, sector in country so we have promised that we have promised a right to health we have promised formalizing the whole gig workers economy we have promised and then we, i'll come to the ncrb data says that the crimes against women in bihar have increased by 9.8% and prime minister goes on international women's day and reduces this 100 rupees on cylinder which they are uh, selling at 1200 rupees and they think they have done a huge service what about the uh, decreasing the gender gap in labor force participation rate what about decreasing the crimes against women nothing there is no noise of it so i am saying when you look at the smaller sample what has to really come across as a striking thing is people are voting on the uh, basis of unemployment 82% of the youth of the countries are unemployment and when a person presses a button on evm on the issues of unemployment and they will no longer be the government that uh, claims to be 440 that's that's my first look at the survey over there deshwani uh, come in there uh, uh, you can of course rebut uh, pooja tripathi of the congress who of course has a different take uh, on uh, which way bihar and the country is going uh, deshwani come your response to her and also your interpretation of the survey's findings say let me make it very clear most of the panelist except nikhil jain has not spoken have been speaking as if this is a state assembly election that's one difference it's a lok sabha election and lok sabha and state assembly elections are fought on absolutely different parameters even when bjp lost in rajasthan madhya pradesh they had swept the lok sabha elections one second your sample survey shows of only 9.14% of the females were there which clearly shows that most of the schemes of the central government are women led women oriented and women when beneficiaries are very high if your sample had 50 50% this data will change in favor of bjp further and therefore it's very important that the sample size should include large number of women thirdly let me point out well people talk of employment and inflation anybody who has an idea of constitution employment industry agriculture are concurrent subjects both with both the responsibilities of the state government and the central government in fact in the case of employment the primary responsibility is that of the state government supplemented by the central government therefore everybody will shout that i have given 5 lakh jobs in the state that means they are admitting that the overall job situation when comes into data the state data are also taken into consideration either the states have performed very poorly or they have performed very good but when you give state data as you say we have given 5 lakh jobs then then you must not say that the uh, employment situation is bad in the country the employment situation in this country is being you know what what the prime minister is doing to make them self reliant not only look for jobs but be job providers also this is the entire emphasis now mudra loan people under emphasize the mudra loans 
this has been a game changer and from 2014 onwards in 2019 again i have been there on your channel since 2015 and i have been doing your programs regularly where mudra loans highest beneficiaries are uh, women and they have taken small loans and where the npas are very low they return the money also they have started their own business i tell you in ex examples in delhi large number of people during covid moved back to their respective states from delhi bombay they are not coming back because they have started I know number of people, the lawyers, industries, whose drivers are not coming back. They say, we are, we are living a wonderful life, uh, earning the same amount of money with the small businesses that we started. Here, the mudra loans are very important. Manrega scheme. You know, states are returning money because a lot of fake people were there in the Tamil Nadu returned some a certain amount of money, saying that we don't have people because the fake people have been, you know, weeded out. And therefore, it is very important to actually analyze data. I am not saying the sample size is very big. It is only illustrative, not exhaustive, and thus reflects the mood of the nation. It is only, it could be, it could have an error of 3%, which generally I have seen the surveys have. The margin of errors was plus minus 3% or 4%, which is not more than that. And this is the generally the sample size people take. I'm not saying this uh, survey is absolutely perfect, but it does reflect a trend, a particular trend. And please remember, as I said, it is the responsibility primary of the primarily of the state government under employment and agriculture, supplemented by the central government. This is the constitutional position. Nobody would tell you this position. And therefore, uh -huh. let us realistically go into it. And state uh, assembly elections are different from the Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha, overwhelmingly, we have seen, even where the BJP has not performed well in the past, they have swept the Lok Sabha elections. Yes. Okay. Let me uh, also, in fact, uh, quickly... Uh, get in uh, Nikhil Jain, a political analyst, also for his view on this story. Uh, Nikhil, uh, uh, clearly, of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, we are seeing a certain indication of the way Bihar will vote through this survey. What is your response to its findings? And, of course, the panelists' views on uh, the pulse of the Bihar voter for who's winning 2024. So there, I think there is a slight bit of dictum in, uh, in what the survey has presented in terms of results. I'm not going to question the sample size or anything of that nature. I think that's best left to the experts. But uh, when you, your, show, your survey shows that 47% of the people, unemployment is the most important issue, 22% development is, 14% inflation is, and 11% corruption is. Now, this government has thoroughly failed on unemployment. We have seen the highest levels of unemployment that we have seen in the past five decades. Pooja Di uh, from the Congress, she mentioned about the labor organization report showing that 83% of the graduate youths in the country are unemployed right now. So this government has thoroughly failed on that front. So far as development is concerned, of course, there has been some momentum-based development that has happened in this government as would have happened in any other government. But the promises that were made, bullet train and smart cities and all of that, that has not at all positioned at all. So they fail on that front as well. Then we talk about inflation and we have seen, you know, dal going to 200 rupees a kilo. We have seen all the uh, retail uh, uh, goods, especially food uh, food products becoming really expensive. So inflation is not something that this government has been, ma has been able to, uh, you know, control properly. And then we talk about corruption, electoral bonds that have come out thanks to the Supreme Court and the quid pro quo that is, you know, at display. And also the hafta vasuli that is at display that somebody gets raided by the ED and the BJP, uh, they give some 50, 60 crore of electoral bonds to the BJP and the ED stops opposing their bail. So the factors on which the Bihar voter wants to vote, this government has thoroughly failed on it. 60% of the people are saying that work is the most important factor on the basis of which they're going to vote. Yet the dictomy is that a lot of them think that the, it is the NDA that is going to return to power. And I think it is not because the people are particularly... The, the people particularly think that the NDA has delivered on these fronts, but more importantly, that people are not showing enough faith in the opposition parties. And I think now it is the job of the opposition parties, whether it is the Congress or the RGD, to take the message to the people that all the important points and issues on which you want to vote, this government has thoroughly failed on them. While when we were in power, whether, whether it was the UPA or the state governments of the India Alliance, uh, they, they were able to you know deliver on these fronts better. So I feel if the opposition gets its act together, if the opposition is able to consolidate, bring the right message to the people in the right manner, the numbers on what the BJP will get out of the 40 in Bihar, I think they are going to substantially reduce. And also one important point I think all of your viewers must know is that the JDU is not the same force in 2024 as it used to be in 2019. The BJP-JDU alliance got 39 out of 40 seats in 2019, but JDU is largely a spent force now. 
So all of the heavy lifting in this alliance is would be done by the BJP, which got about 17 seats the previous time, and this time also they bargained for 17 seats with the JDU. So I'm, I don't think the BJP tally, India tally, can anywhere be close to 40. I think they have a much credible the India alliance has a much credible local leader in the form of Tejasvi Yadav, and a credible narrative that is being set at the national level by Rahul Gandhi when he talks about the rights of the OBC sections of society, which form a majority. part of the society in bihar and people who have been disadvantaged through decades and rahul gandhi tejasvi yadav and other leaders from the india alliance are raising their voice and i think that's going to show up in the elections this is okay okay but what about uh, you know the the issues at hand the main issues at hand what do you believe will dominate this time around deshatha nigam uh, when people go and cast their vote be it in bihar or other parts of the country but more importantly in bihar where we have seen a flip flop by the chief minister during this tenure as well well uh, political expediency is one factor for which the flip flop has taken you may not ideally like that situation but the fact is people go for winnable combinations and this is what probably uh, nitish kumar thought and and bjp as well and therefore you would notice in the lok sabha ca candidates that they have declared they have not paid many changes uh, most of the people uh, well established leaders are contesting so uh, that's that's the strategy of the bjp out there and obviously you know uh, uh, how is one important factor is how is the inflation data arrived at or the unemployment data arrived at they take a state wise unemployment and then they uh, you know consolidated industry wise and state wise then they consolidated and 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 therefore states unemployments are very important and for which the state governments have to reply if it is very high however the data of the statistical organization clearly shows that the um, unemployment rate which was quite high during covid period has come down drastically and especially in the age group less than 20 it has come down it is about 3.5% inflation at 5.5% now and therefore those statistical data are clearly available uh, the world uh, bank and the un clearly says india has removed the abject poverty not poverty i'm saying abject poverty and uh, highest number of people are moving out and uh, especially giving rations and uh, various schemes that are working so overall the picture is on the uptick you know it's it's the graph is moving upwards you may call electoral bond and things like that 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 people will decide in the uh and all parties have benefited some more some less because of their uh, you know results from 2019 election if you look at the per mp contributions bjp is far low as compared to tmc and congress number of mps this is how you calculate because people you know how how do you think people you know donate money first they look at the stability of a particular government whether a government can provide stability or not corporate houses look into it apart from the electoral bonds people not many people on this panel know there is an electoral trust scheme by the government of india introduced by pranab mukherjee in 209 2009 when he was a finance minister and there you know all parties are getting money from the corporate houses please remember that and uh, it is very transparent auditable and uh, income tax department also keeps an eye on it I don't think any panel has uh, panel has any idea about the contributions out there. Do you have any idea about how many women got tickets in Bihar? Oh, that I have to look at the list. See? I'm sure. And then you talk about women. Then you talk about women See, from me, here as a RSS person, as a RSS person, for sitting over did, here, a member of RSS, sharing did articles did, of did Op India, sharing articles Madam, of Op India. Madam, did I intervene? You sit here. I'll answer you. I'll answer you. You are I'll answer you, you have patience. You are questioning all the panelists sir. No, don't don't start jumping. All the panelists. Don't no no you, you didn't know, answer you no. You no, no, don't you, have an idea you, how many women got tickets in Bihar. See I I didn't say about women I said about electoral trust scheme. You talked about electoral trust scheme you raised question. You have do you have idea? idea. No, no, you have idea. Do you have idea of electoral trust scheme? Yes or no? Do you have idea how many women got tickets in Bihar by BJP? See let let me tell you one thing. I'll come to women also. Uh, first you can't come to class, women. A RSS uh, person no, doesn't come uh, to women. You are RSS. I, you have no idea about RSS. You are sitting here as a you political have, analyst. You have no idea about RSS. Let me tell you, I have no idea about RSS. You, I'll show you on Twitter account to you. Are you I, I, I know my Twitter accounts. I know RSS Twitter accounts. Then will you agree to it? Are you, I, I know everything. Sharing so articles of all. As an, as an outsider, as an outsider, don't, don't read Trumps. 
as an outsider to RSS, don't beat drums. Come to the shaka. Come to the women shakas also. You will understand everything. I there want are women to be shakas safe. also. I there want are, to be there safe. Are, That's there why are I want to come to shaka. There are I want to be safe. Boys and girls also. I want to be safe. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not let's not get personal now with each other. Let's come back to the issue that we are discussing. Let's come back to the issue that we are discussing. Kuntal Krishna also wants to come back in with a response. Yes, Kuntal Krishna, go ahead. Allow, allow me to finish to 10 seconds. 10 Give seconds. Kuntal Krishna. May I, may I finish in 10 seconds? May I Kuntal Krishna. Kuntal Krishna. Kuntal Krishna. The floor is yours. The floor is yours. Kuntal Krishna. The floor is yours. I don't with like with disturbance all, in between. You know, this is what I don't like. From I don't debate. I don't like your arrogance. I don't debate with disciplined people. You are not disciplined. You're not Udai, can I come in? commenting on everyone. Speak, I don't like speak. your arrogance. No, no, no. I speak on your time. This is Udai, how debates are done. Can I come in? Yes. Yes, definitely. Two of the BJP panelists are sitting here. One as a political analyst and one as you. Okay, Priyanka, I, I, I'll give you your time as well. I'll give you your time as well. I came to you for a for an opening. I'll come back no, to you for a detailed sure. response. Yes. You need to allow the others now to also complete. Please, please. Kuntal Krishna. With, with all due regards to my sister from RJD, does she have any idea about atrocities on women which were inflicted during RJD period? Does she have any <laughs> idea about Shetri Gautam case? Does she have any idea about Vishwas case? RJD means mafia gunda raj. RJD means atrocities on women. And now I can I can give reasons. She was asking about reasons. I can go point by point. Yes, unemployment is an issue in Bihar. But Bihar believes that only under the stalwartship of Modi ji and with double engine ki sarkar, this problem can be solved. That's why Bihar will vote for Modi ji and NDA. I dare Priyanka ji, I dare you, and I challenge you, if you can give me one post, one post Priyanka. which were created by Tejashvi Yadav in his tenure, one single vacancy which was created by... Tejashvi Yadav during his tenure. Okay, okay, allow now. Hello? Can I, can I speak now? Yes. Yes. See, I raised a single question, just a simple question that was, how many women got tickets in Bihar by BJP? It's none. Zero. Because they believe that women should not be politically active. It was one of the CMs, one of the no, CMs no. of Uttar Pradesh, no, who no, made no. a comment, women sit, should sit inside the house. Let me, let me, let let me, me correct you, Priyanka ji. Let, let me correct you. Let me complete. Let me complete. You don't want to hear the voices of women. You don't want to hear the voices of women. You don't want to hear the voices of women. That is what Manu Smriti teaches you. That is what Manu Smriti teaches you. You don't want to hear the voices of women. You don't want to hear the voices of women. I said you're talking about women for. I don't you want to hear the do you know so what happened to Shilpi Gautam? Let me speak. Do you know what happened let to what speak. happened to Madam Vishwas? Why zero tickets? Why zero tickets? These things? Do you believe women are incompatible? Do you know what happened to Shilpi Gautam? Do you believe women are incompetent? Do you know? What do you believe? What was the what case? Do you, you know? Believe? What you do you believe? You want me to elaborate that case? You won't answer you know, this. You know what happened to Madam Vishwas? I can't talk like this. Just, just make him quiet as well as I, I can't talk like this. He, he cannot allow a woman even to speak. That is why they have given zero tickets in Bihar. And he, Priyankaji, Priyankaji, his deputy CM, as as his deputy CM comments on Matri Shakti. His deputy CM makes a bad slurs remarks about women, a, a daughter and a father relationship. That is what BJP nurtures. BJP nurtures these patriarchal men, this misogynist men, and that is why they Priyankaji, give... Priyankaji, you know what women. happened with Shilpi Gautam? I just... I okay, just we're, we're just getting more reactions now coming in. We've done a ground survey as well. To learn more about what the pulse of Bihar is, let's listen into this ground report that our correspondent on ground has sent us of what voters are saying on the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. The Mahagadbandhan is the most important part of the Mahagadbandhan. There are 10 people and 20 people. So there is no one of them. And the Mahagadbandhan is just the name of the Mahagadbandhan. बिहार है तो वहाँ लालू जी तय कर रहे हैं उत्तर प्रदेश है तो वहाँ अखिलेश जी हैं यानी कि कोई कहीं पर आपस में इन लोगों की एकता नहीं है और जो ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड रहा है जब भी ये लोग जो सो कॉल्ड अपने को कहते हैं जो या महागठबंधन कहते हैं ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड रहा कि जब भी ये सब एकजुट हुए हैं तो इनकी क्या हालत हुई तो देश को एक स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट चाहिए और स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट भारतीय जनता पार्टी और माननीय मोदी जी की ही अगुवाई में मिल सकता है तो पप्पू यादव को ने अपने गरिमा में झांक के देखना चाहिए 
चाहे गरजू पांडे सिर पर चुल्ला दौड़ रहे थे और बोल रहे थे क्या उनकी स्थिति है ये तो उनको खुद आकलन करना चाहिए कि क्या हैसियत बना करके उनको जो है आर वालों ने रखा है ये तो उनको खुद सोचना चाहिए कुल मिला करके बिहार में 40 की 40 सीट जो है वो बीजेपी गठबंधन को ही मिलेगी पूरी सीटें और बिहार की जनता और देश की जनता ने ये तय कर लिया है कि आने वाले चुनाव में 400 सीट एनडीए को मिलेगा और बिहार से 40 की 40 सीट जो है वो एनडीए को मिलेगी इसीलिए चाहे वो पप्पू यादव हो कांग्रेस पार्टी हो या राष्ट्रीय जनता दल हो इन लोगों का सुपड़ा साफ हो जाएगा इस चुनाव में डेवलपमेंट को देश की जनता ने बिहार की जनता ने माना है और एक स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट भारतीय जनता पार्टी की ही अगुवाई में हो सकती है बीजेपी का है बीजेपी रहेगा सर देखिए जितना बीजेपी कर दिया ना सर उतना अब जो है ना कर नहीं पाएगा रीजन क्या देखिए कोरोना के टाइम में जो अगर बीजेपी के अलावा कोई और सरकार रहता तो उतना नहीं संभाल पाता मुझे जितना बीजेपी संभाल लिया नरेंद्र मोदी जी जितना संभाल लिया कोरोना के टाइम में उतना कोई और सरकार नहीं संभाल पाता बर्बाद कर देता इतना अभी देश हम लोगों का कठिनाइयों में था कोरोना के टाइम में कठिनाइयों में था जितना बहुत बदतर से पत्थर हो जाता कोरोना के टाइम में देखिए चुनाव नज़दीक है और आने वाले समय में ये पता चलेगा किसकी सरकार बनेगी ये तो समय का इंतजार कीजिए बस और कुछ नहीं कहेंगे ठीक है मोदी सरकार के हाँ दो हज़ार जो उनका रिकॉर्ड है वो पूरा करेंगे सरकार तो बनेगी भाजपा की मोदी सरकार आएगी पुनः चलिए अच्छे अच्छे योजना काम किए हैं जनता के हित में काम किए हैं मोदी जी जैसे कि आयुष्मान भारत योजना बहुत ही गरीब के कल्याणकारी योजना है इसलिए इस बार भी मोदी सरकार ज़्यादा उम्मीद है कि मोदी सरकार फिर से एक बार आएगी All right. Uh, well, uh, we are, of course, uh, going back to our guests now uh, on uh, our debate. Let's uh, quickly uh, bring in uh, a response from uh, uh, Kuntal Krishna. Kuntal Krishna, uh, is Mayank Sinha with us? Is Mayank Sinha of the JDU with us? Okay, I think we've lost Mayank Sinha there, unfortunately. I want to quickly go back with him. But Kuntal Krishna, you know, it's interesting that, you know, there is a finding also in this survey, which obviously the opposition will cling on to, with you know where there is a considerable size of people rating pm modi's performance as average now that is concerning in bihar where it is the nda in power but there have been these flip flops so we don't quite know which way the bihar voter will vote on while of course an overwhelming majority still believes that the modi factor will be very good for the nda uh, that pm modi's performance has been very good but still a a healthy percentage of people saying average in bihar what do you make of this kuntal oday i fear that my sister priyanka is going to uh, level this whole whole thing this whole uh, you're finding as rss or bjp wala i i hope she doesn't do this oday your survey itself indicates what is going to be in bihar whatever problems bihar is facing now the only solution to those problems is BJP led government in center and Nitish Kumar led double engine ki sarkar in Bihar. Now the question is why? Why everyone is saying that they is they are going to vote for Modi and NDA? Why? Because in Bihar people want their lives to be safe first. NDA government means rule of law and RJD means rule of mafia, Gunda Raj. RJD means crime against women. RJD means corruption. RJD means every lumpen every mafia every criminal belongs to rjd only for people of bihar the major concern is their good life their a state where there is a law which is governed by a law not by mafias every problem which bihar is facing right now everyone believes that modi ji is a doer <laughs> if he says that he will do it he will do it that's why we are confident that nda is going to win all the 40 seats in bihar anyway politically we are far ahead of them indi gathbandhan which is basically a ghamandiya thakbandhan is yet not able to decide about their alliance no it is not decided yet see a gentleman by the name of pappu yadav pura tripathi all of his party into congress and now everyone knew pappu yadav himself says that he spoke to all the leaders in this gathbandhan and now the ticket is being denied to him yes priyanka ji 
प्रियंका जी योर योर लीडर योर लीडर इज द बिगेस्ट ठग बिहार एज एवर स्पीकन स्पीक एटलीस्ट लेट हर स्पीक कैन आई कम इन आई वॉन्ट टू आंसर कैन आई कम इन उदय एब्सोल्युटली I want to uh, uh, remind uh, Kuntal Krishna ji a, a gang rape uh, uh, occurred at Varanasi BHU. Was it done by RJD's IT cell? No, no, no. BJP's IT cell. Ankita Bhandari, Uttarakhand. RJD's vidhayak? No, no, no. Kolkata area. Bajpa vidhayak. Your city, your BJP MP Nishika Dubey goes on to term a sitting uh, MP Bhuva Mitra and sitting MLA Vishali ki Nagar Vadhu. Aapko batane ki zarurat nahi hai Vishali ki Nagar Vadhu kya hota hai? You are saying कि rule of law होता है उत्तराखंड हाथरस वाराणसी कानपुर टू गर्ल्स टू माइनर गर्ल्स फॉर रेड कम बैक टू पटना रूल ऑफ लॉ प्लीज कम बैक टू पटना मैडम प्लीज कम बैक टू पटना वी आर डिस्कसिंग पटना राइट नाउ प्लीज कम बैक टू पटना फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग कम बैक टू पटना रूल <laughs> शिल्पी गौतम केस इन पार्क द रेट ऑफ क्राइम अगेंस्ट वुमेन Please go through that. I I know that there is a uh, central government and BJP and and a state government. The states I mentioned, Uttarakhand, BJP. There's so much rule of law mentioned. That night, me, 12 o'clock, we also wear clothes. Get up, wear clothes. I'm always saying. I'm 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 saying. देश के महे पहलवान बेटियां दिल्ली में घसीटी जा रही हैं दिल्ली पुलिस के द्वारा लेकिन रूल ऑफ लॉ है रूल ऑफ लॉ इज कम्प्लीटली देयर सब कुछ है एटलीस्ट डोंट से ऑन विमेन सिक्योरिटी व्हेन इट कम्स आई कम बैक टू योर सर्वे जब इतने लोग एवरेज कहते हैं बी टेन थाउजेंड उधर सैम्पल साइज वेन दे से एवरेज देन वॉट इज दिस होल हुपला ऑफ एनडीए चार सौ पार जाएगी भाजपा तीन सौ सत्तर पार जाएगी आ, आज अगर एवरेज कह रहे हैं तब तो अच्छे दिन आ जाने चाहिए थे फार्मर्स की डबल हो जाने चाहिए आप वो भी तो देख ले मैडम आपके सामने पार्टिसिपेशन रेट बढ़ जाना चाहिए था डॉक्टर साहब के घर पर छुट एंड वेरी गुड चाहिए था आज महंगाई मेरे घर में जो 1200 का सिलेंडर भरवा रही हूँ वो शायद एक सौ का होना चाहिए था राम राज्य आ जाना चाहिए था देश निगम देश निगम ये असली मुद्दे पूजा त्रिपाठी के नजरिए से जवाब दीजिए जे जे सर निगम योर रिस्पांस द फैक्ट इज वी आर डिस्कसिंग बिहार राइट नाउ एंड वी मस्ट बी फोकसिंग ऑन बिहार एनीबॉडी हु हैज नो आंसर्स यू नो विल डाइवर्ट द इशू हियर एंड देयर व्हेन वन टॉक्स अबाउट इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स व्हेन यू रिप्लाई देन यू विल टॉक टू सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स यू नो बट फैक्ट रिमेंस द इशूज हैव बीन फ्लैगड ऑफ इन योर सर्वे नो डाउट एंड द वी आल्सो हैव डेटा विद अस and the response also and any election that takes place is on the basis of if it is a state assembly it will be local issues and if it is the national election general election they have to be national issues the security of the nation the overall infrastructure of the nation that is being done the decision making the resolute decision making of the central government the removal of 370 and and various other issues the response the g20 that has taken place these are well within the you know uh, achievements of the central government and people are going to vote for that and that is why i gave specific examples in fact when uh, as i said na rajasthan madhya pradesh and uh, you know chatisgarh when they lost the elections in the assembly but this swept the lok sabha elections i think this basic distinction has to be kept in mind which probably some of us are missing i mean 
people are speaking on the political lines and their ideological lines, which is fine. I mean, the, the spokespersons are supposed to do that. But the basic, you know, distinction between the present elections is when we are raising issues, we must raise for the general elections the national issues. And I said, if you know your constitution, the employment, industry, agriculture, and consequent inflation, because uh, on account of agriculture, the food processing, food products, and the industry, the inflation is related to all that. And this, mm. these, this is a concurrent subject. Both have equal responsibilities. When you criticize, saying it is high, you're criticizing your, your own governments and your own, your par own parties who have been in power. So let's understand the constitutional positions, whose responsibility is what. And so far as central government is concerned, they have been discharging their functions uh, diligently, duly achieving all their tar targets. And if you look at uh, Prime Minister Modi's Brisk Creek, every you know, situation he's been either inaugurating the projects or laying the foundation. Lacks of crores. Last I heard about a month back was 10 lakh crores projects either inaugurated or, you know, uh, foundations laid down. So look at the scale and speed of the work which is there for whether it is infrastructure, roads, railways, airports. We see it every day. It is for everybody to look at it. I mean, you may shut up your eyes and, and, and uh -huh. ignore it, but the common people of the country are very closely watching. So give credit where it is due. Have a critical analysis and... If you are doing critical analysis, give solutions also. Anybody who's criticizing out here, I have not seen any solutions coming out from anybody. So when you talk, when you talk of problems, if you say there is a problem, you should have an alternative vision, a plan, and a policy which should which should come out. And which I have been asking every spokesperson from 2015. But I don't see an alternative vision better than which what BJP promises in the manifesto. At least there is a party which implements its manifesto. Give credit <laughs> for that. Yes, Priyanka Bharti. Yes, uh, I just believe that this uh, they 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 Shradhar Nigam person and this Kuntal Krishna should stick together before coming here. That lines would be similar. They Shradhar Nigam is talking about that in Lok Sabha elections, national issues are in the center, and Kuntal Krishna is talking come to Patna. So the lines should be similar, no? And when Kuntal Krishna says, but, but they are two they different to individuals, they can have their own uh, viewpoint. One is from RSS. And then, are we, are we, what are we discussing? We are discussing Bihar. No. RSS, one is from RSS, one is from BJP. We are talking about general elections. We are talking about general elections in Bihar. Let me come to the point. We are talking about Lok Sabha elections. I didn't interrupt. I didn't interrupt. You did enough. You did enough. I can interrupt you. I didn't interrupt the RSS person. You interrupted me. I don't like to talk to RSS person. You interrupted me. You interrupted me and I will interrupt you. Please, okay, I do will it. interrupt you. Do it, okay. Um, no, let, 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 me, me. let me make let it a point. Speak. Let me make it a let point that speak. we are talking about let Lok Sabha speak. elections in Bihar, not let assembly speak. elections in Bihar. That is a okay. basic concept. That is all I have said. I am not talking about that. In If it is an assembly election in Bihar, I will raise speak local talking. issues. I will certainly raise local talking. issues. Yes, speak I will. Talking. I will continue. But talk. not even from Bihar. Whatever. I know Bihar. So whatever. I know pain so of my people. You, so you have I know the what people went through. You, you I know that BJP got two seats in Bihar last time. What did she do? 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 विशेष राज्य का दर्जा दिया ताकि आपने आलू के साथ अगर आप हैं तो यू नो यू नो आई एम फ्रॉम बिहार आई एम आई एम फ्रॉम देयर आई एम डॉटर ऑफ बिहार एंड दिस पर्सन सिटिंग समवेयर इन द कॉर्नर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड कमेंटिंग ऑन पी पेन ऑफ माय पीपल 40 40 mps from Madam, bihar you don't know about my background gaji priyanka ji you are leader don't know about my background the friends of bihar Priyanka ji, your leader Lalu Prashad Yadav is responsible for all the pain which Bihar is facing right now. Your leader, your leader Lalu Prashad Yadav has got only one agenda, his family, his family's corruption. Matras ne balatkar karwane ke lawa apne kuch nahi kiya. Mahila pahelwano ko Brij Bhushan Singh se molest karwane ke lawa apne kuch nahi kiya. Mahila pahelwano ko Brij Bhushan Singh se molest karwane ke lawa apne kuch nahi kiya. Mahila pahelwano ko Brij Bhushan Singh se molest karwane ke lawa apne kuch nahi kiya. Mahila pahelwano ko Brij Bhushan Singh se molest karwane आपको पता है आपको पता है मैडम विश्वास के साथ क्या हुआ था आप जानती है आप नहीं जानती है प्रियंका जी को जानिए आपके आदमी प्रशांत यादव की शाह पे एक एक बेटी एक माँ उनके साथ लगातार उनके साथ सुन होते रहा आपकी बेटी नहीं आपकी बेटी नहीं है क्या आपकी बेटी देश की बेटी नहीं है आपकी बेटी कौन है 
आपकी बेटी कौन है आपकी बेटी कौन है जस्ट कीप शाउटिंग कीप शाउटिंग आपकी बेटी देश की बेटी नहीं है क्या आपकी बेटी देश की बेटी नहीं है मैं देश की बेटी नहीं हूँ इतनी महिलाओं के साथ रीजन that will determine their choice Lok Sabha ke chunav ab hone wale hain aur isko lekar taiyariyan bhi zor zor se chal rahi hai BJP is baar kar rahi hai ki 400 se par jo nara hai BJP ka wo usko lekar campaign lagatar chal rahi hai hamare sath kuch log hain Patna mein aaiye unse jante hain ki aakhir क्या इस बार ke Lok Sabha chunav mein kya janta ka mood hai kya kehna chahti hai janta kya naam hua aapka ये पूनम सिंह नाम हुआ मेरा पूनम जी ये बताइए कि आपको क्या लगता है कि 2024 का जो लोकसभा चुनाव होने वाला है इसमें किस किस सरकार बनेगी देखिए 2024 में भारतीय जनता पार्टी की ही सरकार बनेगी क्योंकि आप पूछेंगे क्यों तो मैं बताना चाहूँगी क्योंकि जो माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने खास करके बात करें महिलाओं के लिए जो काम किया है जैसे कि महिला की बात करें तो उनको शौचालय देने का काम किया जो कोई नहीं दिया आज तक तो किसी की भी सरकार रही लेकिन किसी ने देने का काम नहीं किया तो माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी महिलाओं के लिए सोचते हैं उज्ज्वला योजना के तौर पर गैस चूल्हा जो देने का काम किए तो माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने दिए हैं ना जी तो इसलिए नरेंद्र मोदी जी को हम लोग सपोर्ट करेंगे क्योंकि नरेंद्र मोदी जी जो काम कर रहे हैं हम महिलाओं के लिए जो सोच रहे हैं आप उज्ज्वला योजना की हम बात किए घर देने का काम किए जो हमारे दलित बहन जो है जो बस्ती में जाती थी लोग उनको बारिश होती थी तो पानी पड़ते थे तो भिंगते थे घर में लोग सो नहीं पाता था चैन विकास के नाम पे आप वोट करेंगे क्या मुद्दे होंगे विकास के मुद्दे यही होंगे कि जो हम लोग को काम दिए हैं माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी जो हमारे दुख दर्द में अटने का काम किए हैं घर दिए गैस चूल्हा दिए हम लोगों को पाँच किलो अनाज जो मुफ्त में देने का काम किए कोरोना काल में जो लोग हम लोग भूखे मर रहे थे उन लोग को देने का काम किए तो महिलाएं खास करके बढ़ चढ़ कर नरेंद्र मोदी जी को चाह रहे हैं हम महिलाएं और माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी को हम लोग प्रधानमंत्री तीसरी बार बनाएंगे अगली बार अगर सरकार बनती है उसमें क्या सुधार की जरूरत है क्या लगता है आपको देखिए हम लोग मोदी जी से यही करें कहेंगे कि जो आपने 33 परसेंट आरक्षण जो पास किया है उसमें हम महिलाओं को मान सम्मान मिलना चाहिए और आप मान सम्मान देंगे तो हम लोग जीत कर भी आएंगे लोकसभा और विधानसभा में आपको क्या लगता है अगला प्रधानमंत्री देश का किसे बनना चाहिए माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ही बनेंगे माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी काम किए हैं काम के बदौलत बनेंगे आपने देखा कि 500 वर्षों तक राम जो थे टेंट में पानी जो बारिश होता तो भींगते थे उसके लिए कोर्ट में जाकर के आप लोग हम लोग मैंने वहाँ के जो लोग कोर्ट से जब तक आदेश नहीं मिलता था टेंट बदला नहीं जाता था तो कहीं ना कहीं राम लल्ला को लाने का जो अयोध्या में राम मंदिर निर्माण कराने का काम किया तो माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने किया है हम सनातनियों का जो मान सम्मान बढ़ाने का काम किया माननीय नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने किया है इसलिए हम लोग मोदी जी को जिताएंगे सबसे पहले एक बात मैं कह दूं आपको जो राम को लाए हैं हम उनको लाएंगे इस बार श्री राम की कृपा से राम राज तो आ ही गया है और लोकसभा उसका एक प्रारूप बने जा रहा है देखना यही है कि मुमकिन है या ना मुमकिन है एक कहावत तभी आप सुन भी रहे होंगे रोज मोदी है तो मुमकिन है भारत का प्रधानमंत्री भी मोदी ही बनेंगे इसमें कहीं कोई कोई संदेह नहीं है क्योंकि सबसे बड़ी बात देखी जा रही है कहाँ यहाँ पे कि मोदी जी जहाँ पर हैं उनके दूर दूर तक उनके टक्कर का कोई अभी तक राजनेता अभी तक कोई दिख नहीं रहे तो ये नामुमकिन सी बात हो रही है कि कौन जीतेगा कौन हारेगा कौन प्रधानमंत्री बनेगा कौन नहीं बनेगा और मोदी जी हैं तो सारा चीज़ सॉल्व होना ही होना है आप देखिए रही बात कि विकास का स्तर उन्होंने कहाँ तक बढ़ाया जो अपना जो जो ये दर्द था आ, उसको बहुत ऊपर जो जीडीपी डी जिसको बोलते हैं तो वो ग्रोथ कहाँ से कहाँ चला गया हम लोग पहले आ, हमारा जो आ, देश का जो ये था 
जीडीपी था वो कहाँ से कहाँ चला गया तो सब सबसे बड़ी बात है कि देश प्रदेश से लेके अब विश्व स्तरीय तक अब हमें वो जगह वो सम्मान वो इज्जत मिल रहा है तो इसलिए निसंदेह हम बीजेपी के लिए ही सोच रहे हैं और बीजेपी को आना ही चाहिए मुद्दा तो मोदी जी को छोड़े ही नहीं हम लोग विकास ही हुआ है और वैकेंसी भी नहीं है पी का इस बार चार पार ही है तो इस बार लग रहा है कि मोदी जी नारा दे रहे हैं 400 पार उस पार 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 चार सौ पार ही रहेगा अब की बार 400 पार जो नारा लगा है बिल्कुल वो बिल्कुल सही लगा है और कोई चीज बचा ही नहीं है कि विकास नहीं हुआ हो विकास तो हम लोग पूरा चल रहा है पटना में ही देखिए मेट्रो तक चालू होने वाला है विकास नहीं होता तो मेट्रो कैसे आता बहुत सारा योजना जैसे कि चल रहा है आयुष्मान भारत उज्ज्वला योजना और स्वनिधि योजना और नया जो स्कीम आया है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी का पीएम विश्वकर्मा योजना तो इसको धरातल पर लाने की कोशिश की जाएगी अगर तीसरी बार बीजेपी की सरकार भारत में बनती है तो जी देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी होंगे और देश की जनता एक करोड़ जनता और हम लोगों का सहयोग है कि देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी बने और जो साठ सालों में देश में जो विकास नहीं हो तो विकास हम लोगों को 2014 के बाद दिख रहा है तो हम लोग चाहते हैं कि देश का प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी बने और बिहार देश का विकास हो देश के विकास के साथ साथ हमारे बिहार प्रदेश का भी विकास हो जब आप वोट करेंगे तो उस दौरान किन मुद्दों के आधार पर वोट करेंगे क्योंकि कई मुद्दे होंगे स्थानीय मुद्दा होगा नेशनल मुद्दे भी होंगे क्या होगा मुद्दा देखिए आपने नेशनल मुद्दे की बात कही तो मैं एक चीज़ कहना चाहता हूँ कि साठ साल दूसरे पाँच विपक्ष इंडी गठबंधन ने राज किया कांग्रेस ने राज किया तो साठ सालों में जनता का जनादेश का दुरुपयोग किसी ने किया तो कांग्रेस ने किया जनता का जनादेश मिला तो उन्होंने जातिवाद किया जनता का जनादेश मिला तो उन्होंने देश के अंदर तुष्टिकरण की जनता का जनादेश मिला तो उन्होंने अपने परिवार अपने वंशवाद को बढ़ाया तो कुल मिला लगता कि इंडी गठबंधन में जितने भी लोग हैं सभी लोग अपने स्वार्थ के लिए राजनीति करते हैं लेकिन हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी कहते हैं सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास सबके प्रयास के साथ मूल मंत्र है उनका उस मंत्र के साथ देश का विकास करना चाहते हैं माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का नारा है आपकी बार 400 पार बिल्कुल सही है एकदम सटीक है विपक्ष उनके सामने कहीं टिक नहीं रहा है कि विपक्ष को भी अपना बहुमत क्या बहुत की बहुत दूर की बात है सौ आंकड़ा भी पार कर ले बहुत बहुत कोशिश के भाई बाकी सौ का पार नहीं होगा और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री का जो दस साल का हम लोग कार्यकाल देखे हैं हर एक क्षेत्र में युवा हो महिला हो स्त्री हो पुरुष हो गरीबी हो हर एक क्षेत्र में उनका बढ़ चढ़ के तन से मन से हमेशा उनका दरवाज़ा खुला हर एक हर एक तबके के हर एक लोगों से मिल के काम करने का काम किए हैं और आगे उनका एक विजन है एक विजन है कि दो तक जो है जो देश को देश को विश्व के पटल में लाएंगे वो हमको लगता आने वाला समय हम लोग को देखने का मौका मिलेगा हमारे हमारे बच्चे लोग जरूर देखेंगे कि जो मीडिया जो जो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी का जो विजन है वो सही होगा और, और सटीक होगा और देखिए बेरोजगारी तो हर जगह है बेरोजगारी कोई सरकार कम नहीं कर सकती लेकिन बेरोजगारी के विकल्प में अभी एक भाई, भाई ने बताया कि एक विश्वकर्मा योजना चालू किया गया बहुत ही विश्वकर्मा योजना बहुत ही सराहनीय कार्यक्रम है उस यदि उस पर सही लोग सही कोई युवा उस पर सही लोग सही ढंग से उस पर इम्प्लीमेंट करेगा तो स्वतः उसको रोजगार मिलेगा और नौकरी भी तो मिल ही रहा है क्या लगता है इस बार चार सौ पार होगा एकदम एकदम इसमें कहीं कोई सगने विपक्ष कहीं टिक ही नहीं रहा है अपने आप तो सही इंडी से इंडिया सब तो अपने धन मन हो रहा है कहीं टिकने की बात ही नहीं कहीं टिकेगा तब देख रहे बिहार का वही हाल है क्या हो है पंजाब सब हर स्टेट का तो वही हाल है कहीं स्टेट में अपने आप में एकता है नहीं टिकट के लिए मोदी जी के खिलाफ कोई नहीं टिक रहा एकदम से एकदम एकदम सही है उनका एकदम सही भाव है कि 400 नारा जो है ना आपके बार चार सौ बड़ा चार जून चाहे चार जून को वो हमको लगता है कहीं उसको कसर नहीं है एकदम से होना है तो तय निश्चित होना ही तो ये थे हमारे साथ पटना के कुछ लोग जिनका कहना है कि जो प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का जो दावा है जो नारा है चार सौ पार तो उसमें कहीं ना कहीं जो है इस बार जो है मोहर लगती हुई पटना में के लोगों का कहना है कि उस पर मोहर निश्चित रूप से लगेगी क्या अभिषेक के साथ शक्ति न्यूज एक्स पटना For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.